Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning yoga. My name is Miss Julie, and I'm going to guide you through a couple of core strengthening exercises this morning. So let's get started on our mats, or find a comfortable place to sit in your space. You want to sit on a pillow or a block to elevate your hips higher than your knees. You can do that. So one of the main things you can do to strengthen your core is work on your breathing. Proper breathing is so important to your overall health. It also helps strengthen those muscles in your core and helps lengthen your spine and strengthen the muscles around your spine. So in yoga, we do a lot of breath work. We do a lot of poses that open up the body so that we can breathe more freely. And today I'm gonna to show you a few of those. So you can do this type of yoga anytime you need to. First thing in the morning, or if you wanna do something in the afternoon just to kind of wake yourself up, or maybe you just wanna do something before you go to bed to relax. It's all good. So just starting nice and tall. I want you to press your sit bones, those little bony parts on your bottom into your mat, and then take your shoulders up towards your ears and then release them down towards the earth. So as you do this, you may feel like your chest kind of sticks out a little bit. So telescope your bottom ribs down. Yeah. And then just place your palms open onto your thighs. Keep your mouth closed and take a deep breath in through your nose and see how that feels. Now exhale out your mouth. Do that again, inhale through the nose. Exhale out your mouth. So let's change this up a little bit. Take your fingertips and place them around your belly button in your low ab area. As you inhale, I want you to feel your fingers move away from you so you're expanding. So take an inhale through the nose. So you're filling up like a balloon and then exhale out your mouth. And then feel your belly deflate. So inhale to inflate. And then exhale, let the belly fall. Good. Now let's move our hands to our side ribs. Just wrap your fingertips around your ribs. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in through your nose and feel the expansion. Good. And then exhale out your mouth. So just feel your hands move with this breath. Very nice. And then take your hands to your chest. So same thing right here across the collarbone. I want you to breathe into your hands. Fill up. Exhale out your mouth. Do that again. Fill up. Breathe in. Exhale out your mouth. So let's do that all together, starting with the belly. Inhale to the ribs, to the chest. Exhale out your mouth. One more time. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale out your mouth. Now this time when you do it, I want you to exhale through your nose. So inhale again through your nose, belly, ribs, chest. Now exhale through your nose. When you exhale, I want you to pull your belly in towards your spine. Do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Now the trick is to keep that kind of breath going as we go through the rest of our movement here. So just staying nice and tall, the muscles in your neck and your shoulders help support your breathing too. So let's go ahead and relax our hands down to the earth. Take your chin towards your chest and then just roll your ear. It doesn't matter which one, roll one of your ears over to your shoulder, breathe in, turn your chest or turn your chin towards your shoulder, breathe out. Inhale, turn the chin back up to the sky, and then rotate the head back down, bring the chin to the chest. Take an inhale into your upper back. Exhale, let it go. 
moving to the other side. So draw your ear towards your shoulder. Good. Breathe in. Now take the chin up and then turn the chin towards the shoulder. Take another breath here. Exhale, draw the chin down towards the earth. Inhale, tilt the chin back up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, draw the head down, chin to chest. As you inhale, lift the chin, draw the shoulders back up around the ears, and then exhaling here. So take your hands to your knees. As you inhale, feel the chest expand. As you exhale, maybe a little cat arch in the back. So inhale to open, draw the chest up, and then exhale. Good, do that again, draw the chest up, breathe in. Exhale. Last time, inhale to lift. Exhale. Very good. Let's do a little twisting here while we're seated. So take your right hand back, your left hand to your right knee, lengthen the spine by pressing down through the hips, and then just twist. Look over your shoulder. So tuck your right shoulder blade in and down your back. Again, feel the belly expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, draw the belly in. Bring the head back first and then come out of your twist. Go right into the other side. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, make your twist. Stay for another breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your head back first and then coming out of your twist. Very good. Take your arms up. Feel the sides of your body lengthen. All of this space here, really open, expand. Reach your fingertips up to the sky, but keep your low ribs telescoped down towards the earth. Now take your palms, interlace your fingers, and then press your hands up to the sky and draw your triceps next to your ears. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Release your right hand down and take a side stretch. So really ground down into your mat or your sitting space. Breathe into this open side here. So take another breath in. Exhale. Inhale to come back through center. Let's move into the other side. Good. Feel that expansion as you inhale. Exhale, let it go. Very nice. Inhale, as you bring the arms up, just walk your fingertips forward. Maybe you make little spider hands as you crawl the hands out. So keep pressing back through your sit bones that are onto your mat. Keep reaching your fingertips forward and just go wherever you feel comfortable, okay? But when you're here, can you feel your belly kind of rest on your legs? So as you inhale, feel the belly inflate. And then exhale, focus on pulling the belly away from your legs, belly button towards the spine. Do that again, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, good, exhale. Since we're already here, we might as well just come onto our hands and knees. So come into a tabletop position, onto your hands and knees, Spread your fingers, have your knees underneath your hips, looking down at your mat. So don't tuck your chin, keep some length in your neck, press down through your hands evenly and begin to lift the heart as you inhale. Just drop your belly just a little bit and then exhale, stretching like a cat. Drop your chin towards your chest. Draw your belly button in. So that same breathing, inhale to expand and then exhale to close in. Inhale to expand. Exhale to close in your final cat pose here. And then sit back into a child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch. Sit back on your heels and reach your fingertips forward. And again, you can drop your forehead to the earth. You can keep your hands alongside your body if you'd like. Whatever's comfortable for you, no pinching in the shoulders. But now the back of your body is exposed. So I want you to breathe into your back space. So imagine the back ribs expanding as you inhale. 
And then exhale, let them fall. Pull the belly in towards the spine as you exhale. Inhale again, breathe into your back. Good, exhale. Good, one more time. Breathe into your back. Exhale. Come back up to your hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Press up into a downward facing dog, which is an upside down V position here. You can take your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders if that feels more comfortable to your shoulders. You can take your feet a little wider than your hips if you'd like. Come up onto your tiptoes and press your hips up towards the sky. Press your hands into your mat. And then as you exhale, let your heels drop. They don't have to hit the floor, it's fine. But feel that length from your armpit all the way down to your hip bone. Feel that side body stretch. Take a breath into this space. Good, and then exhale, let it go. Walk your hands back towards the back of your space. And just hang out here for a moment so you can grab your elbows, keep your knees nice and soft, tuck your chin towards your chest. And again, you've got all of this expansion going on here. So breathing into this space, imagine the space in between, in between each rib expanding as you inhale. Exhale, draw the belly button towards the spine. Do that again, inhale, exhale. Press your hands into your shins. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. Bring your hands to your low back. And as you inhale, come all the way up. Open the chest at the top of this movement. Draw your shoulder blades together. And then exhale. Release your arms to your side. So let's do triangle pose. Take your right foot forward and take your left foot and step it back. So you have a heel to arch alignment in your legs. So your toes are facing the front of your space, your front foot, and then your back foot is turned slightly in. Both feet are grounded here. As you inhale, take the arms out to the side. Again, we're working with the breath, so we're lengthening through the side body to rem remember expansion. And then as you exhale, pitch your hips back, reach your top hand forward, and then just find a place to drop the hand lightly onto your leg. Turn your gaze up towards your top hand and reach your fingertips away from each other. So check in with your head. Don't drop your ear down towards your shoulder. Pull your head up. Yeah, working with all of those muscles that we stretched in the beginning. Good, take a breath here. And then exhale, reach your top arm over your ear. Feel the length through your side body. Good. Inhale, come back up through center. And then just switch your feet. So turn your other foot in, turn your other foot out. Same thing, turn your hips back, lengthen, and then exhale. Keep the chest open, so maybe you don't go very far. So no collapsing, stay nice and open. Softness in this bottom hand, reach your top arm towards the sky. So find that strength in those neck muscles. Keep the ear pulled away from the shoulder. Look up at the top hand, press through your feet, and then exhale, draw the arm over the ear. Really feel that stretch, and then breathe into the space. Take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come back through center. Turn both toes forward, and then exhale, take your hands behind your back. So a lot of times when we sit during the day and we're on the computer, we're doing our schoolwork or whatever, we are hunched over like this. And it's just, you know, it's out of habit. Sometimes you don't even know that we're doing it. So one of the things that we need to do is strengthen the muscles in the back to support the spine and keep us lifted, but also opening up the muscles in the front of the body, the chest. So we're gonna do that right now. Take the hands behind the back, clasp the fingers together, lift the chest, Again, telescope your bottom ribs down, but lift your chest, lift your chin up towards the sky, breathe in, 
and then exhale as you come forward. Lead with the crown of your head, press your hips back, and you can feel your chest start to move towards the earth. Maybe you pick your hands up off of your lower back. Now, if you're really tight in your chest, your hands might stay here and you might be feeling this stretch. If you wanna lift the hands a little bit more, you can. Just go to your comfort level and keep a soft bend in the elbows. Breathe in. As you exhale, pull the belly towards the spine. So here we are again, we can feel the belly on the thighs as you inhale and then exhale. So we're gonna come out the way that we came in, press down through your feet. And as you come up, you take a big inhale here. Good, and then exhale, releasing the hands. Let's step up to the top of our space. Bring your big toes to touch. Take an inhale, reach tall, and then exhale. Take a forward fold, softness in the knees. Inhale to lengthen the spine halfway, and then step back onto your hands and knees, lower down onto your belly, just like you're doing a push-up, except come all the way down. Good, take the arms forward. Actually, let's start with the hands behind us here. So have the fingertips reaching down towards your feet. We're gonna strengthen those muscles in the back. So as you inhale, start to peel your chest up. Look down at your space in front of you. Maybe you pick up your feet a couple of inches. But keep lifting your upper back a little bit higher. And then pick your hands up and start to draw your shoulder blades together. Stay here for another breath. Exhale, lower down. Take the hands out to the side. We're gonna do all of that again, except this time the arms are out to the side. So inhale to lift. Maybe you fly the feet, breathe in. Good, and then exhale, lower down. Take the arms forward, thumb on top. This one's a little bit tricky. So as you take the hands forward, I want you to draw your shoulders back into their sockets. Okay, keep your neck nice and long. And then as you inhale, maybe you pick up the right hand and the left foot, lower down, exhale, inhale, switch sides. Lower down, see if we can do them both together. So pick up the arms and the feet, breathe in, exhale, lower down. Good, take the hands underneath the shoulders, Use your strong arms to press yourself up and then press back into a child's pose. Breathe into your back space, just like we did before. Inhale, exhale. Good, inhale. Very nice, exhale. Coming onto your hands and knees, so we do a lot of this in our yoga classes. You probably do this in your gym class, plank pose. Planks are fun. We like to do all different kinds of variations here. So if you want to stay on your hands and knees, walk your knees back just a little bit behind your hips. But again, as you shift your weight forward, I want you to draw your low ribs towards your hips, okay? So you're not sticking your bottom out. You're drawing your low ribs towards your hips, so a little bit of a tilt. Stay here and breathe. If you're feeling really industrious this morning, go ahead and curl your toes under and get into that full plank pose. We're staying here for five. Keep moving the breath. And four. And three. And two. Last one. Very nice, come all the way down, back into your child's pose. This time slide the hands alongside the body and then drop your chin towards your chest. Take a deep breath into your back space. Exhale, let it go. Very nice, come up onto your knees. We'll flip around onto our bottom. Working on the ab strength a little bit more before we cool down. So just leaning back into our boat pose. So we do this a lot in yoga class. There's a lot going on in boat pose. So maybe you start with just one foot down and one leg straight. 
Yeah. So again, find those low ribs. You're pressing them towards the hip bone. Lead with your heart, lead with your chest. So if you're slumped like this, it makes it really hard to breathe. So draw the shoulders down the back and then switch legs. See what this side feels like. Yeah. And then maybe you wanna try both legs. You can grab the backs of the legs. You're still doing the pose, it's totally fine. Or you can reach the arms forward here. Just breathe, that's the most important thing. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, now take the feet together, sitting up nice and tall. Draw the chest up. Again, telescope the low ribs down. Let your inner thighs relax. Shoulders down the back. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, let it go. Do that one more time, deep breath. Exhale to release. Coming onto your back, so close your knees. Draw your knees in towards your spine. Keep your right knee into your chest. Take your left leg long. Pull your right knee up towards your right shoulder. And then as you exhale, just pull the knee across. So keeping the knee towards the chest as you pull across. Your right shoulder wants to come up off of the earth, so relax it towards the earth. Open up your right palm, keep your right ear to the floor. So you gauge how far you want to go in the twist. So your right lung here on top, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Do that again, deep breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Draw the knee up towards the shoulder one more time. Exhale, switch sides. Left knee comes in. Just cup the top of the knee with your hands. Draw the knee up. Exhale, find your twist. Nice and easy. Again, relax the left shoulder to the earth. The left hand to the earth. The left ear moves over towards the side. Take a deep breath in to this left side. Exhale, let it go. Do that again, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Come back to center. Draw both knees into the chest, rocking out the low back. And then as you release your legs to your mat, open up your palms. Take your chin up to the sky, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And let's go back to that elevator breathing that we did earlier. So starting with the low belly, inhale, low ribs, chest, and then exhale, release it all out. Do that again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, exhale, release it all out. Last time, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Plant your feet on the earth. Pick your hips up and just roll to one side. It doesn't matter which one. Take a moment here, feel the difference in your body, the difference that your practice makes, moving the breath. Maybe you feel more open, more spacious. pressing yourself up to a seated position. So just sitting however you would like. Sit bones down on the earth, just like where we started. Draw the shoulders up by the ears and then relax the shoulders down the back. Send your shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, bring the arms high. Lots of length through the side body. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Draw your hands to heart center. Namaste.